and Celtro. Our idea is to take body energy and to use it to do something with it. So using semiconductors, we lower the power level of our electronics uh, to the degree that uh, the energy of uh, biological cells is being used for pacemaking, for instance. When you implant devices into the human body, batteries have to be replaced. They run out and uh, suddenly you have to do a surgery. So really running without battery would be a cool thing to have. But uh, up to now it wasn't possible to do it because the power levels were so high. The idea is pretty simple because uh, every cell, every human cell is a battery in itself. And that's where we take energy from. Uh, so removing batteries has uh, a replacement aspect, so this goes away. Uh, the second point is it is a lot smaller. And the third point is uh, we are going in multiple locations into the tissue. So we get not only one connection or two or three, but we get 30 or 50 or 100. I don't think anybody has put nanotechnology in the human body to harvest energy from cells. This is uh, really new, so we need um, partners with flexibility uh, to help us. Nanodimension puts our circuit, our chip, which we develop uh, together with other components into a package which can then be implanted into the human body. And uh, the traditional way of putting these uh, electrodes into a package is uh, cumbersome and uh, we found a very elegant way together with them to put this together. The individual cells don't uh, give enough energy to do the pacing. We need to combine them in order to pump it up to the levels required for pacing and to self-sustain the uh, pacemaker itself. To do this, we use a microelectrode array which we built uh, together with NanoDimension so that we can collect energy from multiple cells. So in regard to tissue interface, we are using needles to collect biological energy from multiple biological cells. Up until now, we are only able to do this on a printed circuit board assembled by hand. But in order to achieve the power we are needing for pacing, we we'll need a much larger number of needles. And this can only be done by an industrial or mechanical process. And this is where another dimension helps us a lot. They are able to 3D print a frame where many, many needles can get put in. And therefore we can really, really reduce the space required for a pacemaker and be able to go into a cathedral to implant a pacemaker into the heart itself. The Dragonfly machine gives us uh, almost infinite possibilities to uh, shape and form uh, our packages for um, our future medical devices. And uh, the integration of our electrodes has been solved. Nanodimension gives us infinite flexibility in the shaping of our product and a huge speed in uh, prototype design. We have the opportunity to go there, test something out. In an afternoon we have the result and we know this is working or this is not working. So I think this is what is really great uh, with another dimension.